What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we are bringing you guys the grass starter of Kanto, a Gen 1 favorite. We got ourselves a Venusaur team for ranked regulation G. Now, when it comes to Venusaur, I haven't used this Pokemon in a good amount of time, but I absolutely love it. I think it's still strong, and I really think it thrives out in the sun, especially with Coridon, who is our restricted Pokemon for today's video. But let's talk about this Venusaur build a little bit. Chlorophyll doubling its speed in the sun with the Focus Sash as item. It's got that Water Terror type, and on top of that, it's got an amazing moveset of Sleep Powder, Solar Beam, Sludge Bomb, and Protect. So this thing can do some big-time damage. It can put Pokemon to sleep, whatever you need Venusaur to do, right? Let's talk about Crydon a little bit, considering it is our restricted Pokemon with Aura Calcum Pulse and a clear amulet as item. It's Rocket Collision Course, Flame Charge, Flare Blitz, and Protect, which I believe to be the best move set for this Pokemon. Really pairs up well, especially with the Fire Terror type, helping it do big time damage, get speed boost, all that good stuff. Our final four Pokemon on today's team going to be Chi Yu, Sandy Shocks, Walking Wake, and Tornadus. Now, Walking Wake and Sandy Shocks pair up nicely with Crydon due to their Protosynthesis ability. Chi Yu is going to be a great special attacker who is actually very fast due to the Chewy Scarf item. And Tornadus is Tornadus. Keeps weather control, keeps speed control, and it also has taunt to taunt support Pokemon. We love that. Guys, you want to rent the team for yourself? Rental code is at the top right hand corner. And if you do enjoy today's video, don't forget to like it up and subscribe to the channel. Without further ado, let's go hop into match number one using Venusaur. See this team that we're versing in match number one? We're putting them all to sleep. Eternatus to sleep. Entei to sleep. Wimscott. Hopefully Terrasai so we can put you to sleep. You guys get the gist. I'm just joking around here. We will probably use a couple sleep powders in today's video, but I'm not going to sleep spam. That ain't me. That's not how I play. But we're going up against Eternatus team here in match number one. I actually versed Eternatus a couple days ago. Eternatus with Toxic. Was a big time problem so i'm really hoping that's not a toxic setup here i'm really hoping that's not but who should we lead and how should we get after this i mean walking wake's not bad here to lead with karidon doesn't really look like they have weather control so i think going into karidon and even venusaur could be good karidon venusaur might just be our play early sleep powders getting after it they go into tornadus here though if they go whimsicott but i mean if they lead whimsicott we could just kind of go from there right i like that so i'm gonna go into venusaur i'm gonna go into karidon um in the back end i do like walking wake I think Walking Wake's just such a good Pokemon all around. And last but not least, probably going to Tornadus back in. Just nice little support Pokemon, especially if they want to set up Tailwind. I feel like our Bleak Wind Storm user slash Tailwind user could really just change the ties for speed. So, that's why I wanted to bring him. I could have brought Chiyu as well. Chiyu could be nice, especially with that Choice Scarf. Whew. We love a good old Choice Scarf. Can never go wrong with Choice Scarf. Let's see who they end up leading here. They're going to rock out with... Urshifu and that's Stark Urshifu and Whimsicott, which isn't bad. I mean, I can put I can put one to sleep if I want to. I could flame charge up. Um, hmm. I have Focus Ash on Venusaur, so that's nothing I gotta worry about too much. I think Flame Charge is definitely gonna be our play to try to get the speed boost. And I think we just try to put Urshifu to sleep, right? I mean, again, they could go for Tailwind and then out speed with their Urshifu. But honestly, how fast are you, Venusaur? You might, you're probably a little bit slower than Urshifu. So yeah, I think Flame Charge is going to be your play. Let's just start boosting these stats. Let's go for Flame Charge here. And let's try to put you to sleep. Let's just try to put you to sleep. 70 accuracy. I'm hoping we can whip up into it. And he's just going to protect Wimscott, which is fine. Now Venusaur outspeeds, which is good news. He's going to detect. He's just reading out what, what we want to do here. All right, I might have to switch it up now. I might have to switch it up because we might see a swap into Rillaby. We might see a swap in the roll room. So I think going for a collision course. Actually, let's flame charge into the uh Let's flame charge into the Urshavu slot. And then just uh go into Sludge Bomb here. Kinda just a little switch up here, just in case they want to swap, because it seems like since they read out our moves, they're gonna kinda play off that. So I could see a roll boom swap in. Especially with that that grassy type to not go to sleep. Be good. I could still see him going for Tailwind, just attacking me. But I really do think a swap's coming. Double Protect turn 1. They really confused. They really want to beat me out. Detect and Protect. Would have been a nice chance to set up like Swords Dance if we had it. Nothing's better than doing that. Having Swords Dance or Dragon Dance and they both protect and you set it up. It's just so massive. But they end up not going for Tailwind or going for a swap. So we end up triggering Focus Ash, which isn't bad for us. Flame Charge is going to fly here. 
we are gonna rip up some damage into you and on top of that get a nice level speed boost looks like they're going for moon blast yeah you're dead karate thanks for playing thanks for playing so wow no tailwinds just straight up attacking all right happens wicked blow gonna fly through here venus is gonna be able to soak sucker punch is scaring me a little bit sucker punch is terrifying so from here, I think just going into Tornado is going to be a fine play for us. We can rip Weakling Storm. We can put Urshfu to sleep, which would be nice. So I, I would think that they want to go for... I would think that they want to go for what's called. More so than anything. Sucker Punch. So if I can put you to sleep, go for Bleakwind Storm, pick up a double KO, that could be good. It's not Encore me. Oh, man. Now that's actually a really good Encore because you want to Sucker Punch me. It's a great encore. It's a great encore. He ends up going for Sucker Punch, and it's going to fail. Oh, so it still fails on top of that? That's nice. That's good to know. It's actually a great play on their end. I thought that was going to work. Props for them for trying that. That actually I thought was going to work. I thought it was going to work, and honestly, that's fine by me because we pick up a double KO. They don't get off Tailwind. We can now set up Tailwind. I can protect Venusaur this turn, or I could just go for a Sleep Pattern and put somebody to sleep. But I'm encored in a sludge bomb now, so... Okay. That's fine. Eternity's just gonna fly out here. We still have Walking Wake in the back end, which is good news. They could have Terra. And... He's gonna come out here with probably E-Speed, right? Probably E-Speed. So we're gonna do this. We're just gonna throw a sludge bomb into this slot. And he's gonna E-Speed me down. Alright. Yep, there's E-Speed. E-Speed flying out here. I wonder what Eternatus is doing. Is this a support Eternatus, or is this a straight-up attack Eternatus? So he e-speeds me, I end up tailwinding up. And Meteor Beam gonna fly. Wow, so we're dead to that. Meteor Beam coming out here. This is gonna be a tough, tough matchup for my boy Walking Week. Tough matchup for Walking Week. So I still have Terror. Which is pretty good for us. I still have Terror, they still have Terror. Oh, man. Turn to getting the best of us again. I feel like we should have used Terra earlier in, the, in today's video. But now I'm gonna just throw out Walking Week. Proto synthesis up. So I got some speed going. Um, this thing's plus one. We're gonna be forced to Thrasilize here. I think we go for Hydra Seam first and hope that Entei doesn't Thrasilize. And that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna just, just like the Hydra Seam this thing down. Hope it doesn't Thrasilize KO and then. Try to drop a Draco Meteor to KO the Eternatus. But Eternatus might be able to soak it. They still have Terra, though. One of these Pokemon are going to Terrasilize. So out comes our Terra. We go Fire just to kind of neutralize any Fire attacking things. And he ends up protecting Eternatus. Is this a double protect or single protect? Show me single protect. Let's go. It's a single protect. East Speed doing some nice damage. Hydro Steam should KO, no problem. Even if you are vested, I think it KOs. It does. Cool. So now we can go into Draco Meteor. All right. I know you're plus one special attack. Walking Wake is out here looking looking to win this game for us. All oh, the sunlight fades. Do we still outspeed? I think we still should. I think we still should. Because now I'm going to Draco Meteor. Come on, Draco Meteor. What you got going for you, Eternatus? You have to Thrasilize here. Yeah. GG's. GG's. Let's see. What do you got, Fairy? Hate this game, man. <laughs> Hate this game. Fairy Terror coming out at the last moment to beat us. Which is tough news. Draco Meteor, nothing. We had to go for Draco Meteor. He's gonna go for Dynamax Canyon, which plus one probably KOs us, right? It's just such a strong move. Yep, GG's. So, oh, one to get things started. Let's go hop to our second match. Look to use Venus for a little bit more and try to grab ourselves our first win. Match number two on its way, and let's be honest, I didn't really play too well in match number one. I definitely want to play better here and bounce back and grab ourselves a win. I could have Terrasilized Karidon probably earlier in the match and just had that thing survive and probably win the match if we did that, but I don't know why I didn't. I think I was just predicting Whimsicott to go for Tailwind more so than anything when it just ended up going for Moon Blast. Worked out in their favor, but we're going up against a Smeargle and Shadow Rider Calyrex team. Um, they don't have any weather, so Karidon going to be a great weather setter for us. Uh, we could go Venusaur here. Even with double speed, though, it's not going to outspeed Calyrex, which is a slight issue. Um, so I could just go into tor Tornadus here. So I think it's in our best interest. So I'll go Tornadus, I'll go Karidon. I will bring Venusaur in the back end. And last but not least, I do like Walking Wing. I like its typing. I mean, Chiyu is actually pretty good here. 
I might go Chi Yu instead. Yeah, you know what? I was gonna say Walking Wake's good because it has uh, that flamethrower, but Chi Yu's just a straight fire type, so we might as well bring this Pokemon. Plus, on top of that, Chi Yu will boost special attack damage output on Venusaur and Tornado, so that could be really good for us. That could be great for us. But I do like our lead. We got Clear Amulet. We got Covert Cloak on Tornado, so if we just want to go into, uh, or if they want to go into Smeargle and fake it out, be my guess, we'll just Covert Cloak up, we'll set up the Tailwind, and we'll really kind of just go from there. But I can see him leading Shadow Rider Kalyx, Smeargle is definitely an option. Rillaboom could be an option, but I wouldn't mind Rillaboom. It would just be a fake out, so I would just protect Coridon. Kind of go from there. Let's see what they got. They're going to go into Volcarona and Kalyx. Now... Volcarona does have Rage Powder, we know that. Um, we could go for a Blink Wind Storm here if we want to, which I kind of want to, right? I kind of want to, before I go into a Tailwind. I think that could be a fine turn for us. Or I could just set up the Tailwind and kind of go from there. Do I want to Terrasilize though? Not really. I mean, honestly, you could have a Fairy move. Let's Terrasilize, let's play it safe. Let's do this. Let's go for a Tailwind here. Let's look to get after it. Again, you could go for Rage Powder. That is a possibility. But I'm just looking to Terra Flare Blitz KO with this Calyrex. Don't feel like dealing with it right now. Do not feel like dealing with it. And with Tailwind and Weather Control, that could be just super beneficial for us. So let's see what they end up doing. Let's see a Rage Powder kind of like Nasty Pop play. That's an option. But I feel like I'm forced to Terrasse my, my Karide on here. I'm just not dealing with the Draining Kiss, right? Four times super effective. We're just not dealing with it. It'd be it'd be too much damage for us to deal with. It'd be too much damage. All right, so we Terrasilize Karadon. He's gonna Terrasilize himself. Show me it is Fairy Terra Calyrex, and it's not. It's gonna be Water Terra Volcarona. Of course it is, of course it is. Everything that just doesn't work in my favor. I mean, I'm going after Calyrex, which is good. Unless you're going for Rage Powder, which most likely is happening. Then you protect Calyrex. Alright. I should have went for a Bleak Windstorm this turn. Should have went for a Bleak Windstorm. He's gonna set up a Quiver Dance. We do not like that. We do not like a Quiver Dance. We do not like a Quiver Dance. Let's be honest here. Will O Wisp. Oh, we go Fire Type. And this works fine. Okay, that's a, that's a decent turn. So we get off Tailwind this turn. So, I mean, who could they swap into here? Urshfu could be a swap into Calyrex. Um, I think I'm just gonna switch over to Collision Course. And go after you. And then just go for Bleak Wind Storm. He's gonna Rage Powder. Yeah, so Collision Course was a good call for me. Rage Powder. Collision Course gonna fly. How much damage are we doing with this? Great damage. I need Bleak Wind Storm to land a KO this. Thank you, Bleak Wind Storm. Thank you, Bleak Wind Storm. Give me a little speed drop on that Calyrex. Give me just a, just a little speed drop. No, we don't get it. So we get rid of Volcarona. The Calyrex probably going for an Astro Barrage, looking to just chip up some damage here. No, it goes for Calm Mind, so it's looking to boost here. It's looking to boost. It could definitely protect this next turn. I might just want to rip a Flare Blitz into it. Depending on who they go into right now. Calm Mind's scary. Calm Mind's scary. So we have Sun up right now. We have Tailwind up. They're actually wasting out the turns pretty pretty good, right? And Wim's Cut now comes out here to set up its own Tailwind. So Wim Scott for its own tailwind. Um Flame Charge could be really nice for us. I'm gonna go into a flame charge in this slot. Actually, I think you might just protect this turn. How many turns are left in our tailwind? Two. I can actually outspeed you and taunt you. You know what? Let's do this. Let's go for Flare Blitz here. Let's just outspeed and taunt you. I think that works fine. Yep, no Tailwind for you. Flare Blitz gonna finish you all. It's a great play on our end. That's a beautiful play on our end. Great play, Jeans. Told you, this is my bounce back game. This is my bounce back game. We're here to bounce back. We got this Wimscott taunted up. We got speed in our favor. I'm going to go for a flame charge next turn. Unless you go into a fake out user. I know you got a few fake out users. Rillaboom and Smeargle are your fake out users. But Smeargle's going to come out here for the final Pokemon. Um, 
think Bleak Windstorm is going to be your play. And do I flame charge regardless? No, I think we just protect. I think we just protect. Play it safe. Go for Bleak Windstorm now. Battle was canceled. There it is. Like I said, my bounce back game. We pick up a sweep in match number two. It's time for our final match. And I would love to use Venusaur a little bit more here. And more importantly, grab ourselves a winning record. We're going up against Pelopper, which is a slight little issue here. Obviously, weather control is going to be a big factor. So I might just leave Koridon and Tornadus and try to pop Sunny Day here early on if they want to swap into Pelopper. They also have Calyrex. They got Raging Bolt. They got Fire. We're well, not Fire Upon. Rock Ogre Upon. Urshu and Iron Valiant. So, honestly, I like Karide on Tornadus here for our lead, and then going Venusaur in the back end with Walking Wake. Hmm. Walking Wake? Yeah, I kind of like Walking Wake here. Yep, we're gonna go Walking Wake, because we're, we're definitely gonna need a way to deal with that. Uh, we do, oh, I think like that Pokemon's just such a huge threat, so if I can get out, like, a Draco Meteor or two, right in that thing's face, that could be really good for us. I think like Bolt just has such good typing, right? Just such a strong Pokemon all the way around. I could've actually went Sandy Shocks. Sandy Shocks might have been a little bit better, but it's choice spec. It is a choice spec. But they're going to go Calyrex here alongside with Iron Valiant. So they do have Wide Guard, something that I do have to watch out for. Um, I think I just Terrastalize early here, and I just go right after his Calyrex. With Fire, Fire Blitz. And try to just dump on him, right? I like it. He's going to Cork Drive boost. I'm going to go set up a Tailwind. And actually, do I even set up a Tailwind? I might just go into Flare Blitz here and Bleak Wind Storm. Yeah, because they could be going for Trick Room. They could definitely be going for Trick Room. So I'm just going to hit this Terra button real early here. And I'm just going to go into Bleak Wind Storm. I feel like in these formats, not going for Tailwind actually works in your favor sometimes. For the most part, I should say. I feel like just attacking because a lot of your opponents are just predicting you setting up a Tailwind. And... By not doing that, you can get off a free turn and then set up Tailwind next turn with your first turn priority. But he has a Terrastalize and Calyrex. Smart little play there. He's going to go straight fire. We try to get after early here. And we're going to go for a Blink Wind Storm. Like I said, he could go for Trick Room. Definitely. A, and, oh, maybe you might not because you're Icy Winding Me Down. You are Icy Winding Me Down. What about going to fly here? Do about negative five damage. Actually, it might do a decent amount of damage in the sun. Not bad. Yeah, like I said, decent amount of damage was good. And Bleak Wind Storm landed. It does land. Awesome. Cool. It does some big time damage to Valiant. So he Icy wins me, which I was going to say leads me to think that you're not going to go for Trick Room. And he ends up just dumping on my Tornado. So sometimes that happens when you don't pop Tail in turn one. But I don't really mind it too much because now I can bring out Walking Wake. And just be faster than all these Pokemon. Or I could bring out Venusaur. Ooh, we like Venusaur. We do like Venusaur. Real question is, do you outspeed? Actually, yeah. I mean, you're clear on that. I could just bring out Venusaur. Yeah, I'm going to bring out Venusaur. You give me no reason not to bring out Venusaur. I'll save my Walking Wake. Because Clear Amulet stopped the Icy Wind. My Pokemon are still going to be faster. I can Sludge Bomb. I can go into Collision Course, which will KO you. So Collision Course here, and I will just rip a Sludge Bomb into this slot, right? Or should I go Solar Beam? No, because you could swap into Pelipper. You could definitely swap into Pelipper. So yeah, I'm just going to go into Sludge Bomb here. Don't go into Pelipper. You just let your Valiant die out here. And Kallax going to die out here as well. This is great news for us. This is beautiful. This is beautiful. So Collision Course is going to be able to finish you off. Lovely. The sound's just not working. You guys saw that, right? <laughs> the sound just didn't work. And Kallax gets stumped on. Okay, so they could have Pelipper. Late game. I would think that they would have Pelipper, maybe Urshfu. And if that's the case, I'm just going to protect Venusaur and swap into my... Uh, what's it called? My... I can't even think of his name. Walking Wake. Yep, yeah, there's Urshfu. This, you gotta have Pelipper. You gotta have Paloops here. No, it's Raging Bolt, so we keep Weather. I think putting Raging Bolt to sleep might be in our best interest. I could just drop a Solar Beam. I could drop a Solar Beam. How many turns left in this sun? Oh, plenty of, plenty of turns left in this sun. Plenty of turns left in the sun. So I'm actually just going to go Collision Course here. And yeah, you you Raging Bolt, you're going to sleep. You are so going to sleep. Night, night to you. Night, night to Raging Bolt. This is kind of scary because they have two Pokemon that are really strong with both first turn priority. I do like my Walk and Wake here and they end up protecting Raging Bolt. Which is eh. Which is eh. 
What are you doing with him over here? My karate should outspeed. Unless you're choice. And you're not. So Collision Course is going to be able to chuck up some nice damage. Might even KO you. You hit hard. You hit hard. Down to the red. Down to the red. Surgeon Strikes. Can we soak this? Not even in the sun. That's fine. So Karadon drops out here. We get our Walking Wake in here. Which is great typing. I like its typing. Here. I might want to go into fire. To be honest. Because we already know that what's called a scary. Draco Meter is scary. And he could have Fairy Terra. So I think just going into maybe just Walking Wake. And terrestrializing him might be in our best interest. And we go for a sleep powder. Just put Raging Bolt to sleep. Oh, we don't have Terra. Who do we use? Oh, we use it on Cryon. Ooh, that's rough. So we're kind of banking. No, I don't want to run. I do not want to run this battle. But we're kind of banking on over here. Kind of banking on sleep powder to land. I have full faith in my Venusaur. I'm going to put this thing to sleep. I have full faith in my Venusaur. You might be going for a Terra here. You haven't used your Terra. You might Terrasalize Razor Bolt here. The attack comes out here from Urshifu. Sleep Powder just lost me the game. Oh man, I hate losing games to RNG. I really do. We just lost the game. Jacob is going to fly here. Hate this game. Hate this game. Love losing to RNG. I just love it. It's just so much fun. I feel like we've been losing to RNG so much as recently. I needed one sleep powder from Venusaur. It was killing it in this this battle. And I need one sleep powder and it's just missing. Like that's like come on man. Really hurts the soul. Really hurts the soul. You are minus on special attack, so we might have a shot here. Is sunlight's still out and about. You still have one turn left in sunlight, so sludge bomb and you might be to play. And Venusaur clutch us up. Sludge bomb's gonna fly. We finish on Urshifu. We're going for another Draco Meteor. You are. And like, like you land your Draco Meteors, no problem. And I simply cannot land a sleep powder. It really hurts the soul. <laughs> it really hurts the soul more so than anything. The sunlight's gonna fade. Protosynthesis is gonna wear out for him. You might outspeed me now. We have to go for a sleep powder though. Can I outspeed? I do, and I land a sleep powder. So hold up. There's a chance. There's a chance. There's a chance. There is a chance. Going for Sludge Bomb. We need we need a three turn sleep here in order to win. Sludge Bomb, how much damage are you doing? Some nice damage. We just need to be asleep another turn. Sludge Bomb again. We need you to be asleep another turn. Can Venusaur clutch up? Go ahead, Venusaur. Ah! Bro, come on with this. This is absurd at this point. Miss a sleep powder to win the game and then put you on one HP. I don't know what to do, guys. I really don't. Let's be honest here. It's just one of those days. We could have won that match so many times. If Venusaur would have landed its first sleep powder, we would have won. If it would have did one more HP, we would have won. If that Razor Bolt was asleep for three turns, we would have won. Three different options and none of them prevailed for us. Really, really rough. Still absolutely love this team. We didn't play so well with it in the first match. Second match, we killed it. And third match, I'm going to say we killed it. We just lost to RNG, which that's brutal. It definitely is brutal. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread spots positive today. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.